Hi again, uh, Josh Carr here, Carr Real Estate. Um, so in this video, uh, we already have laid out the model. Uh, we've talked about tier one, and now we need to talk about tier two and tier three of the basic private equity partnership uh, model. That's the idea. So if you watched the last video, we had some overflow from the end of tier one. And again, if you haven't watched that, please look at the playlist, watch the other two videos. Otherwise, this one's just not going to make a lot of sense. Okay. So it, tier two is a little tricky and we're going to have to spend some time on it. Um, the first thing to point out is the goal is to split the money 80-20 above a 12 and up to a 25. Split the money 80-20, 80 to the LP, 20 to the GP, above a 12, below a 25. So first we figure out what did the LP get up until now? That's their tier one. That's them making 12% on their money, getting 90% of the cash. Then we say, well, if they got 80% of everything above that, what would that look like? Now, we're not going to give them 80% of everything. We're going to give them 80% of everything up to a 25 rate of return. But to start with, let's just pretend we give them 80% of everything. So if this is what they got at tier one, and this is 80% of everything left over, because that's the leftover. That's 80% of that, basically. There it is. What would we have? Okay. Then what we do is the same capital account math we did before. But now instead of solving for a 12% rate of return, we're solving for a 25% rate of return. You'll notice E76 times D24. D24 is 25%. So this is what we would need to give them to make to get them 25% on their money. If we gave them 80% of the cash up to a 25. So if you think about it, up here in tier one, we're saying what would we need to give the LP to get them 12% of the money if we gave them 90% of the cash? Now we're saying, what would we need to give them if we wanted to give them 20, give them 80% of the money up to a 25? Now, if you think about it, if we know what we're giving them up to a 12 and we know what we're giving them up to a 25, we should be able to figure the difference. So here goes. The interest is a min function. We've seen that before. The principal is the difference between the repayment and the interest. That's fine. The thing that makes this work, the secret sauce, if you will, is this right here, this min. This min says we're going to give them the lesser of what we needed to give them to get to them to 25 or what we had coming in. So like here, we're giving them the 9,000, the 9,000, because this is what we were giving them at tier one. And now we need to give them 150. And if you think about it, the 105 up here, that was the tier one money. This 66 is everything above the tier one money. But we only want to give them up to 150. That would be basically... Tier 1 and Tier 2. That would be Tier 1 up to a 12% rate of return with them getting 90% of the cash and Tier 2 getting 80% of the cash up to a 25. So we need to give them 150. That 150 is correct and we can double check that it's correct because we can solve for 25% rate of return. And so that's an IRR calc. So in this case... We put in 90, we're getting 12% on our money, we're getting 12% on our money. This number 150 is 105, which is getting them up to a 12% of their money where they're getting 90% of the cash. And then the difference between 150 and 105 is what got them to a 25% rate of return when they get 80% of their cash. 150 minus 105 is 45. That's what we need to give them to get them from tier one to tier two. Now, here's the 
other part of it that I think needs to be discussed. Once we get above a tier one, we're splitting all the money 80-20. 80 to the LP, 20 to the GP. So $45,000 is what we needed to give them to get them to tier two. Then what we're giving the general partner is simply put 20 cents every time we give out 80 cents. Or to put it another way, if we're giving the limited partner $45,000, 45,000, G87, divided by 80%, B79, times 20% would basically tell us that every time we give them 80 pennies, we, the GP, get 20 pennies, right? That's our 80-20 split. So the end of tier two then is simply this. It's saying we started with $83,000 flowing into tier two, we're giving $45,000 to the LP, 11,000 to the GP, the remainder is the overflow. I fully realize you might have to watch this video a couple times. It's not easy, but hopefully me walking you through it is helpful. If this is what comes out of tier two, the final tier is always very not exciting. The final tier always is something really stupid like take the remaining money and split it, say 70, 30, 70, 30. And there she is. Finally, we pull it all back together. We say, what did the investor get? What did the sponsor get? This is the tier one money, line 45. Tier two is line 84, and tier three is line 84 plus, or sorry, line 95 plus 105. This is basically just adding it up. All it's doing is saying, here's the tier one money, here's the tier two money, here's the tier three money, and it's just adding it up. If you consolidate this, if you take it all together, what you usually see is something like at the first tier, the investor gets to a 12. When the sponsor gets to a 12, everyone gets to the 12 at the same time. At the second tier, it starts to disconnect. This guy gets to a 25 when this gal gets to a 38. The sponsor is getting some upside when the investor's getting to 25. And then the disconnect becomes more pronounced. The investor gets to 31, tier three gets to 36. So if I look at the overall rate of return, I'll call this deal level, the deal level rate of return, the deal level rate of return in this case was 34. So what you tend to see is, you know, the investor will never beat the deal level because the investor is always trailing the deal level. But you know, if you think about it, it's sort of like up until tier one, there's no benefit of the spot to the sponsor. To tier two, there's usually some benefit, but really in most of these partnership models, the real benefit is at the final tier. And at the final level, the investor makes a little bit less than the deal level, but the sponsor really pulls away and ends up making 56% of their money. Um, so in short, that's tier two and tier three. Something I strongly suggest putting in when you build this, these models is have some consolidation that shows what happens at each tier, because I think it explains to people what the heck is going on. And be sure that you put in some double checks. I mean, if you think that nine, nine and 150 gets someone to a 25% rate of return, you should be able to double check that and confirm yes, it got us to a 25% rate of return. I think that makes some sense. Okay, well, that's basically it. That's the structure. Um, if this makes sense to you, great. Uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed going through this pretty basic partnership model. Um, with that said, uh, let's go from there. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I hope to make additional videos like this in the future. And again, you can check out more stuff about what I do or 
model stuff at my website, kahrrealestate.com. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.